All right, there's a few things that I gotta mention before we get into the other moves that Jin has. For one, I forgot to mention in the Kazuya video where the 112, I didn't mention this particular move. So I'm just gonna showcase it now that for every Mishima, well, I think besides Jin, that doesn't have the flash punch, the final hit of the move is actually minus 17. So if Devil Jin does it, and Kazuya does it, and if Reina does it, I don't know about Jin, but besides the other three Mishimas, and I'm going to believe that Hihachi will also have a flash punch, it will probably be the same as well. If they do this, and you block it, you can then launch the opponent. It's minus 17, so try using your 15 frame launcher against the opponent if you don't have a 15 frame launcher. Just use your strongest move, that's around 15 or less frames, against the opponent. Now let's start out for the other moves. One particular move that Devil Jins love to use against you, and they usually do this while you're trying to defend them. They love to do this move against you. The final hit is minus 8, and it has a lot of push block, so you can't really do anything against them. A lot of people think that it's actually very minus, but it's not. Those are usually the ones that are beginning to learn the game. They think this way. There's actually a way to beat this. If the Devil Jin decides to go and do that move, you can actually sidewalk it to the left. But you gotta be quick though, so you can get hit by the final hit. And you can also do it to the right side as well. So basically, the best means to beat the move is by either sidestepping it or sidewalking it to either side. But just be careful that you may get hit by the move. Now, from what I can see, it's best to sidestep it to the right side or sidewalk it to the right side. Okay, now the next move is the infamous Hell Sweep. This goes the same way for the other Mishimas in the game that have a Hell Sweep. They tend to be very weak to sidestep or sidewalk to the left. I would recommend to just sidewalk to the left, not sidestep it. If you attempt to do it to the right side, you will get clipped. And if you think you have the read on the opponent that they're gonna go for the hell sweep, just block it. If you do block it, it's minus 23. So you can launch him with one of your wolf standing launchers against the opponent. And if you don't have a wolf standing launcher, but you do have a hop kick, use that instead. The thing is, is that sometimes players that play Devil Jin, they love to mix up the Hell Sweep, or they love to use their Wolf Standing too. So they kind of mask their movement by using the Waver Dash, and they can catch you by even going for the Hell Sweep, or they can go into like an instant Wolf Standing of two from the Waver Dashing, which I'm not really good at doing. There we go. So if you see a Devil Jin constantly doing the Wavo dashes, they're kind of trying to set up the Hell Sweep or trying to catch you off guard with the instant standing too. So if you do manage to block the move, it is minus 12. So you can go with a 12 frame punish or you can go with your 10 frame punish. In the case of Devil Jin, his back one too is a 12 frame punish. Or using his flash punch, one one two. Now the next move in question is Devil Jin's back 3. Now this move is minus 16. A lot of players don't know that it's actually quite minus, so that you can actually launch the Devil Jin accordingly. If you're really good with the Mishimas and you know how to launch the opponent with your electric, you can do that as well, but I don't recommend that. I'm just saying that you can go for your 15 frame launcher, in the case of Devil Jin, his down 3 plus 4 is a launcher, but it's 15 frames. You can also attempt to sidewalk it to either side to beat it. It's quite linear. If you're very unsure as to what the Devil is going to be using against you, like let's say if you don't use some other move, and they may go for the back three, just sidewalk it if you're that comfortable with doing so. If not, just block it, and then you can punish accordingly. Now for the infamous electric. Now, every Mishima has an electric. Everyone. And they're all plus five on block. Now, of course, if you get hit by the move, this launches you, so you have to be careful when going against a Mishima that knows how to go for the electrics. Now, here's the funny thing about electrics in this game, and I don't know if this is a, a problem in Tekken 8, 
because of the changes they have made to sidesteps. From what I can see, when using Devil Gen as this, you know, format to showcasing exactly how Devil Gen goes against uh, you, the player, if you try to step to the right, you will get clipped. But the problem with that is that electrics tend to be weak to the right side. And even if I do it accordingly at as quickly as possible and timing it as quickly as possible, I still get clipped. But if I do it to the left side, for some reason I'm able to actually set it. So I could be wrong here because I don't really play on player 2 side, so I'm kind of like confusing myself. So it could be that the actual weakness of the electrics is that you're supposed to sidestep them to the left side, to your left, not to their left, but to your left. Because if you do it to the right side, again, you'll get clipped. Now, it's not like it's not possible to sidestep to the right side, but you gotta be frame perfect when doing this. Frame perfect. In fact, you gotta do it, and uh, you have to do it ahead of time. So if the double gen decides to go for the electric, and you know they're gonna go for the electric, you gotta be like a second or two earlier than them when doing your sidestep for then basically escaping the electric that's coming in. But from my testing, it seems to be that it's more lenient if you sidestep to the left side than it is if you were attempting to do so at the right side. I don't know why. Of course, if you do see it coming and you're not really sure if you have what it takes to sidestep the move, just duck it. But don't expect that you're gonna immediately punish the Devil Jin or any of the Mishimas that come your way. Because if you try to use one of your wall standing moves at launch at let's say like about 14, 15... You may be able to punish them according with your 15 frame launcher. But if you're too slow, then they'll end up blocking it. So just go for a dick jab or a wolf standing 4 instead. That way you'll be able to beat them in time. Now for the next move that Double Jin's up to use is this move. Now, the entire moveset in itself is very plus on block, so if you get hit by the move and you block the chains, but then the follow-up one from the crow stance, that is plus eight. So you have to respect the double jump. Unless you interrupt them. So if the double jump decides to go for the one, you can simply just interrupt the double jump. I tend to do this a lot whenever I come across a double gen, if they are trying to go for a frame trap of some kind, I will immediately interrupt them with one of my 10 frame jabs or whatnot against the opponent. And it's actually very sidesteppable as well, so you can also do that against the double gen. Though I recommend not to, solely on the fact that they can decide to go for a different follow up from Pro Stance. I attempted to sidestep the move, but I couldn't do so. The reason why is that if the Devil Gen decides to go for Crow Stance, this move, the follow-up, is a homing move, so you can't step it. And as you can see, I can't jab the Devil Gen out of the Crow Stance into two. I can only block the incoming move. So you'll have to make a read on the Devil Gen if they're gonna go for the Crow Stance 1, which is the one you can interrupt or sidestep. But if they go for the Crow Stance 2 instead with the homing move, then you can sidestep it and you cannot interrupt it. But the positives is that the move is minus 14 on block, so if you do manage to block both hits, then you'll able to then punish accordingly. Now, they do like to try to go for the Crow Stance 2, but not the follow-up follow-up, which is the second hit that comes from the 2. And they'll do this to trick you into believing that they're going to go for the final hit. It's still minus 13, but again, depending on how much you will hesitate, if they'll follow up with the final attack of the string, you they may make it safe, essentially, in a way. So if this happens, it's your time to then immediately attack the double gen because they're minus 13. But if you get too hesitant to attack right back, they can then decide to go for a sidestep. Maybe they might go for back four to try to counter hit you. They may even decide to go for a 1-1. One, one, or they may even decide to go for a crouch into a wall standing two to catch you off guard if you attempt to beat them with a 10 frame move that's a high move. And that's about it. That's the entire video for me to showcase to you guys. Yes, it's a little short, and yes, I didn't showcase everything that Diligent has to offer, but again, this is just a quick guide as to how to punish these all checks that the Double Gen may use against you. So I hope that the video helped. If it did, give the video a like, dislike if you want to. 
Subscribe if you see more of my shit, and stay tuned. Stay safe.